Uh, today we will learn a little bit of combinatorics. So let's talk about it. Um, we have this word pessimistic. Uh, if the question is how many ways can you arrange the letters of this word pessimistic, that's easy because there are 11 letters in this word. So you do 11 factorial, but then you observe that there are repetitions. So three S's, so then divide by three factorial and you also have three i's which you uh, so you divide by another three factorial so this is the final answer if you were just looking at the number of ways to rearrange the letters of the word pessimistic now if you do not know why that is the case why this formula works then you should actually look at the concept video of um, permutations our question, however, is a little bit different. We do not want, so let's see, let me write that. No two S's can come together. So these are extra conditions that we have. Similarly, no two I's can come, come together, come together. And the third condition is, uh, S, oh, maybe I can change the color. S and I cannot come together. So these are the three conditions that we have. So we want not, we don't, not only want the number of ways to rearrange the letters of the word pessimistic, we want to impose this additional conditions. No two S's can come together, no two I's can come together, and S and I cannot come together. Can you give it a try now? Maybe you can pause the video and give it a try. It's not very hard. So, uh, let me do one thing. Mm, let me change, okay, maybe I can just go here and put this part here. Okay, now, uh, the trick is this, that you should w worry about the remaining letters. So what are the remaining letters? Let me write them. The remaining letters are P. So you have P, E, M, T, C. The five letters, right? These are the remaining five letters in the word pessimistic. So notice that what was our condition? Our condition was that no two S can come together, no two I's can come together, and no S and I cannot come together. So really, what this means is, and you have to think a little bit about this, that these S's and I's can only live in these gaps. In fact, there are exactly six gaps, and we have three S's, and we have three I's, and the way this condition is given, the way this condition is given, that each of these gaps will have one S or one I, and just that. This is the trick. You have to think about the gaps. Okay. So now, how would you solve the final, like, how do you, like, kill the problem? Um, I, this is the first part of the hint. The second part is in the Chinta portal. See the link in the description. Or if you are already in the Chinta portal, then the next lesson has this. But think about it. You have to separately permute the letters P, E, M, T, C. Five letters. So the way you can permute them is five factorial. So five factorial is 120. And you have these remaining six slots and these six letters. So how would you go about it? What is the final answer? If you know the final answer, can you put it in the comment section? Or if you are in the chain, the portal, you can look in the remaining hints and completely solve the problem and try some additional problems as well. All right, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one.